In this example, we want to find the derivative of h of x, which is defined as 3x minus 2x squared times 5 plus 4x. Okay, so we want to do this using the product rule, and then at, towards the end, uh, we can verify our result by expanding it, by expanding this function out, and then taking the derivative term by term. Okay, so the derivative of f times g is going to be equal to f times the derivative of g plus g of x times f prime of x. So in other words, we take the first function, multiply it by the derivative of the second, and add that to the second function, and multiply it by the derivative of the first function. Okay. So let's call this, uh, we're going to call this f of x, and we'll call this g of x. Okay, so h prime of x, okay, we're going to have f of x, which is 3x minus 2x squared, and then multiplied by the derivative of the second part, which is 5 plus 4x. Okay, and then we're going to add that to g of x. 5 plus 4x and multiply that by the derivative of the first function which is 3x minus 2x squared okay so this is going to be equal to 3x minus 2x squared okay so we're going to take the derivative of this which is 4 okay And then plus 5 plus 4x. Okay, so just to be clear here, this was 4. Okay, and then we have 5 plus 4x times the derivative of 3x minus 2x squared. So that's going to give us 3 minus 4x. Okay. okay, so then from here we can simplify this. So we, we already have the derivative. Now from here we can simplify it and combine like terms. So distributing the 4, we're going to get 12x minus 8x squared okay, plus, uh, we can go ahead and expand this out. So it's going to be 15, so 5 times 3, and then 5 times negative 4x. It's going to give us minus 20x plus 4 times 4x times 3, which is plus 12x, and then 4x times negative 4x, which is minus 16x squared. All right, so combining like terms now. Okay, so we have 8x squared, or I'm sorry, negative 8, 8x squared minus 16x squared. That's going to give us negative 24x squared. Okay. And then we have see twelve x minus twenty x plus twelve x. Okay, so that's gonna give us so we have uh twenty four x minus twenty x. So that's gonna give us positive four x. And then we're left with fifteen. Okay. All right, so this is this is our derivative of h, okay? So now let's check the result by expanding h of x. So expand the function, okay? Okay, we can check the result by multiplying everything out for h of x. So h of x, okay, we have 3x times 5, so that's going to give us 15x. So, um, and then we have 3x times 4x, which is 12x squared. And then minus 2x squared times 5 will be minus 10x squared. And then uh, minus 2x squared times 4x will be minus 8x cubed. 
Okay. So we expand this out. Now we can take the derivative term by term. So h prime of x. Okay, we take the derivative of each term. So we're going to get 15 plus 24x minus 20x minus 24x squared. Okay, combining like terms, we get minus 24x squared plus 4x plus 15. So we get the same result as, as we expected. Okay. All right. So again, that is the derivative of h. Okay. Using so that's so first way uh, the first method was using the product rule. The second method was to expand everything out and then take the derivative term by term.